Jesus was traveling to the city of Jerusalem, where people hoped he would be their king. When people heard that Jesus was getting close to the city, they were very excited. They ran out to the road and shouted out to him, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They put their cloaks down on the road before him and put palm branches down to prepare the way. While they did so, they shouted, Hosanna in the highest, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Later in the evening, Jesus and his disciples were sitting down to eat dinner together. Jesus knew that it was almost time for something really big to happen. He was going to have to die on a cross. He loved his friends very much, and it made him sad knowing he would have to leave them. In the middle of dinner, Jesus stood up from the table and picked up a towel and a bowl of water. He went over to Simon Peter, who said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Peter was confused. They'd already had their feet washed when they first came into the house. Jesus said, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but later you will. Peter was confused. Usually it was a servant who washed people's feet and Jesus was his teacher. You can't wash my feet, Peter said. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you are not a part of me. Simon Peter was filled with emotion at that. And he said, then Lord, wash not only my feet, but my hands and my head, everything. Jesus smiled at his friend's heartfelt emotion. Someone who has bathed doesn't need to wash everything, just the feet. After he had washed everyone's feet, he sat back down at the table and looked at his friends. Do you know what I just did? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for I am those things. So if your teacher and Lord has washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. This is an example of what you should do for others, because no one person is greater than another.